editing is not just the technical things and knowing how to edit, but it's also a feeling you have to create an emotional response from your audience. It doesn't matter if you're creating videos for YouTube, for Netflix, or even for something like TikTok. Being able to tell your story in your editing, to tweak and refine that, to really create an engaging piece of content is something that is so important, yet it's something that a lot of people overlook. Really, your storytelling is done in your editing. We don't have these big budgets and we don't have all of these resources at our fingertips. And so we have to kind of hit the ground running and just learn how to use a lot of the stuff and how to make it work for us. And so my words of encouragement would be to just jump in, watch as many YouTube videos as you can. I'm telling you, there's nothing you can't learn. Don't wait until you have a client or a deadline to learn the software. Give yourself some breathing room so that you have the space to fail, the space to try things that don't work, the space to just experiment. So, the wrap party's over. You've got your footage in the can. Now the fun begins. It's time to take everything you've shot and bring it to life. The post-production stage of any video project is where the real magic happens. But there's nothing secret about it. Anyone can learn the basics of editing. Those simple processes, tricks, and flourishes that take your video to the next level. In this unit, we'll take you step-by-step step through the basics of editing. How to trim your footage, reinforce your brand with text and graphics, edit and balance audio, and add effects that make your video pop. And if some of your footage hasn't quite turned out as planned, editing is where you can start to put it right. It's all about taking control. Because when you use Premiere Rush and Premiere Pro, anything is possible. So, what do you say? Ready to get creative? Let's go. Take a listen to this. My aha moment was when I was like, I can use a shortcut. And not that I needed to memorize the shortcut, I could customize the shortcuts. And once I could custom, I realized I could customize the shortcuts, my work just became so much quicker, so much easier, um, and so much easier for me to remember. It's not that hard to learn. I, I've been teaching Adobe software for the last four or five years. I would say that it's the most intuitive option out there, and it's a lot of fun to use. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.